मैं यहाँ पे अभी जर हादे पार्क में बैठा हुआ हूँ जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया था कि आप इंडिपेंडेंट रूम करते हैं इंडिपेंडेंट की आ, सोलो ट्रैवलर हैं तो आपको चांसेस है कि लोकल बंदों से काफ़ी मिल सकते हैं यहाँ पे मैं एक यूट्यूबर से मिला हूँ रशिया की यूट्यूबर हैं ये इनका नाम है एना लियोनोवा मैं इनकी वीडियोस को फॉलो कर रहा था रशिया आने के पहले मैंने उन्हें रिक्वेस्ट डाला कि मैं आपसे मिलना चाहता हूँ और रशिया के बारे में जानना चाहता हूँ तो उन्होंने एक्सेप्ट किया मेरी बात को और यहाँ पर आज मिले हैं मैं चाहता हूं कि आप वो अपना इंट्रोडक्शन आपको देंगे ना आई वुड लाइक यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू माई व्यूअर्स ओके हेलो माय नेम इज एना एंड या आई लिव इन मॉस्को राइट नाउ फॉर अबाउट आई हैव बीन लिविंग हियर फॉर अबाउट 5 इयर्स नाउ एंड आई आल्सो हैड द एक्सपीरियंस टू लिव अब्रॉड लाइक इन द यूएस इन फ्रांस एंड सो आई मेक द वीडियोस अबाउट लाइफ इन रशिया एंड एज अ पर्सन हु इज रशियन बट हु हैज बीन इन अदर कंट्रीज एंड ट्रैवल अ लॉट and has this kind of uh, view on things and i want to uh, people foreign people to come to russia and to discover this place and to know it better before thank you so what do you do basically for a living anna right now i am a, i'm doing marketing in china the thing is that the we promote russian companies in china in different ways uh we make advertising make up the strategy for sales and all that stuff but right now i am about to start learning coding uh c language and all of that thing and we'll see how i'll make it maybe i'll become a future developer who knows <laughs> okay and and uh, i wanted to know something about russia about the family values in russia or uh, just tell me uh do you people like uh, a college going guy or a girl they stay with their parents If it's in the same city, in the same uh, town, uh, people just most people they would stay with their family in their house. If it's another city, of course they will move to a separate because it's different cities. Okay, unlike in America, they like to they don't want to stay with their parents and all. So is it the same over here? Or? Yeah, uh, no, 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 not at all. Just people would stay. in their family unless they find a good stable job and afford living alone okay and then who takes care of the education parents take parents, care it's parents but it, it, when it comes to the education in russia it's partly free so you could uh, get the education for free but if not if you don't have this chance uh, your family will pay for it okay that means uh, your government pays for your education yeah for everyone or Uh, do you have a particular uh, standard for that you have to pass the exam called russian state exam after your high school and if you are if you are smart enough uh, you would study for free <laughs> okay and what about the health uh, do they take care the government takes care of the health yeah health in you we have the how to say health system is for free as well here but it's not the quality is not very good there we have a public hospitals public services and on the other part we also have a private thing and the private hospitals they are very expensive okay and the government takes care of the of uh, do, do you have health insurance from the government yeah for example if i am sick i could go to the public uh, hospital and everything would be for free for me yeah. okay कि मैंने इनसे पूछा था कि फैमिली वैल्यूज़ के बारे में जानना चाह रहा था मैं ये जानना चाह रहा था कि यहाँ के जो बच्चे लोग होते हैं कॉलेज के वो पेरेंट्स के साथ रहते हैं कि या नहीं रहते हैं तो उन्होंने अच्छी बात बोली हमारे इंडिया के जैसे ये है कि हम लोग पेरेंट्स के साथ रहते हैं अगर कोई सेम शहर में रह रहे हैं तो अगर कोई दूसरे सिटी में जा रहे हैं तो पेरेंट्स के साथ नहीं रहते हैं और पेरेंट्स ही मोस्टली पेरेंट्स ही अपने बच्चों का एजुकेशन का टेक केयर करते हैं उनका पैसे का खर्चा खर्चा करते हैं और दूसरी बात मैंने उनसे हेल्थ के बारे में पूछा था तो दो टाइप के इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं गवर्नमेंट के भी हैं और प्राइवेट भी हैं प्राइवेट एक्सपेंसिव है जैसे हर जगह होते हैं और गवर्नमेंट में होते हैं तो फ्री है उनका एजु हेल्थ चेकअप हेल्थ का फ्री रहता है वहाँ पे अनदर थिंग एंड आई वांटेड टू नो लाइक दे इज़ अ मिसकनसेप्शन अबाउट रशिया रशिया मीन्स वोट का so what do you have to say about vodka like is it really that uh, everyone in russia drinks vodka it's a traditional drink but not everyone drinks vodka of course uh, yeah that's it not everyone drinks it but uh, for example if it's a holiday kind of thing 
and you bring all of your family together in the table chances are that will be vodka on the table but it's not on daily basis it's just for special occasions i don't everyone prefers it not everyone okay that means not everyone not every russian drinks vodka no not okay. really तो ये भी चीज़ क्लियर हो गई है कि अभी तक के लोगों को ये सोचते थे कि रशिया मतलब वोट का वोट का है यहाँ से जरूर ओरिजिनेट होता है पर सब वोट का नहीं पीते हैं यहाँ पे एंड आई जस्ट ऑल्सो यू वी स्पोक सम टाइम बैक यू से दे समथिंग कॉल विच यू मेक इट इन योर ओन हाउस सोम सम थिंग यू से Brew it in your own house. Ah, oh, yeah, there is a vodka drink, and it's kind of 40 degrees, I think. And there is another thing that kind of uh, homemade vodka, which is called Samo Gon, which which comes from Samo South, and Gon is a kind of brew. Uh, so it's self-brewed thing, kind of alcohol, and it's harder than vodka. It's more than 50 degrees, 60 degrees, very hard. <laughs> so that is that is basically for. Uh, self yeah, yeah. You don't sell it. It's just uh, people. They make it on their own, and if they invite some friends or family members, you can drink it, but you cannot sell it. Or okay. And that means you make it at your own, uh, you uh, yourself, and then you drink it yourself. Like you don't yeah. have a license to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Just what I mean. So what's what's the name? What is the name of that? Samogon. Samogon. So one more drink is that which vodka is a little bit more strong. That is called Samogon. जो कि वो घर में ही बनाते हैं और सेल्फ कंजम्पन के लिए होता है या फिर कोई गेस्ट आते हैं तो उसको ऑनर करने के लिए उनको दिया जाता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई कम्पेयर हट ड्रिंक्स लाइक वॉटका बिस्के टिकीला राम आई प्रिफर वॉटका बिकॉज इन दस एनी टेस्ट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट गेट ड्रंक यू जस्ट ड्रिंक इट एंड यू डोंट फील लाइक After that, you don't have this feeling of uh, I don't know, not standing the hard alcohol flavor because vodka doesn't have any flavor, and that means that it's the best hard drink to put into the cocktails. So if you mix it with the juice, um, soda, or anything else, it doesn't have any taste, and that's cool. <laughs> and like people generally have it raw. I mean, on the rocks, or like uh, they prefer some cold drink or some juice. Uh, it depends. Uh, if you want it just to get drunk very quick, you just drink it like shot shots. Yeah. And if you just want to enjoy the evening, you mix it with uh, anything else and you make a cocktail okay. based on what. Okay. So they have given another information that vodka they don't like because they don't have any taste. And just like we were thinking that we drink with vodka, we generally we generally uh, add uh, Seven Up. और स्प्राइट टू वोट का यू ऑल्सो तो हम भी वैसे ही पीते हैं जैसे लोग पीते हैं वोट का हालांकि लोग भी शॉर्ट्स बहुत मार लेते हैं पर वैसे ही पीते हैं जैसे कि हम लोग भी पीते हैं वोट का एन आई ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड यू टू टेल मी वाई शुड वन विजिट रशिया वंस इन दियर लाइफ टाइम ओके रशिया इज अ यूनिक कंट्री एंड दैट्स वाई यू शुड विजिट इट इट्स द फर्स्ट रीजन एंड इट्स नॉट दैट It's not that closed and Soviet kind of thing that you might have seen from the news and from the political uh, kind of perspective. It's very open. People are so cool. People are so nice, and they love foreigners. And there are so many unique, um, unique cities, unique towns. Me, I've never been to, and I want to go there <laughs> in ba Lake Baikal, Kamchatka, Murmansk, and other unique places. Moscow, St. Petersburg. Are, Also cool and well if you are coming to Russia for the first time, and it's changing a lot. There are so many places, so many activities that are doing that people do right now, and it's uh, changing for uh, I don't know how to call it. It's just it's changing so changing fast, for. yeah, and it's becoming beautiful, more beautiful and beautiful year by year. Okay, when we think about Russia, it's only two cities that come to our mind. One is Moscow and one is Saint Petersburg. Mm -hmm. And like most of the people, they don't know any. I think they know Baikal Lake, Baikal. Yeah, Baikal Lake is there, but then not many people uh, know about that. Mm -hmm. There's another place on uh, city on the eastern side of Russia. Uh, 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 uh. Also, extreme on the east side, there is a city. That is also a little fame, become little famous. I'm forgetting the name of that city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, but there is the thing that if you are coming to Russia for the first time, I think you should visit St. Petersburg, Moscow, and there is a uh, many cities that are very close to each other that are located on the Kazan, golden Kazan. Ah, Kazan. Kazan. No, Kazan is a bit far, but I mean Golden Ring. It's okay. a bunch of cities with churches which will give you the impression of real Russia. Kazan as well. Kazan is very unique because it is Tatarstan Republic. It has a kind of autonomy and it, it, the religion there is different okay. because Russians, they are mostly um, Christianity, uh, I don't remember this branch of Christianity in English, Pravoslavian, Orthodox, we are, orth we are Orthodox Church, but in Kazan they are Muslims, and okay. so that's that's why this city is very unique and very many tourists come from there. Yeah, I remember the name on the eastern side, it's Vladivostok. Vladivostok, Vladivostok. yeah, Vladivostok, Vladivostok as well. It's on the e far east of Yeah, Russia. it's just far, far east. Yeah. So what places have you been to in Russia? I've been only in the central part. I was born in the city close to Moscow and my brother he just studied in other cities that were like in the central in the central part, I mean not geographically, what we call what we call central part is uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg and surroundings. Okay. This is central part. And I've been in just many cities right over there and in the south. Uh, that means the central of Russia is the financial hub of the country. Yeah. So, by long, this means that Russia is changing. So, you should visit one time. Anna, would you like to say something to my viewers? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it, it gave you the impression of Russia and very good impressions of Russia. Uh, yeah. Welcome. Just welcome. Come here. It's so cool and. You can contact me and ask any advice if you have. So. Thank you. Thank you so much.